Imagine this. What if living with HIV didn't mean taking pills every single day for the rest of your life? What if your own immune system could be trained to fight the virus? No daily reminders, no constant pharmacy runs, no heavy burden. That's exactly the dream behind a new therapeutic vaccine called ICVAX. Today, we're diving deep into what this vaccine is, what the phase one trial revealed, and what could be coming in phase two. Before we talk about ICVAX, let's acknowledge where we are today with HIV treatment. Antiretroviral therapy, or ART, has been nothing short of a medical miracle. It transformed HIV from a near certain death sentence into a manageable chronic condition. Millions are alive and thriving today because of A, ART. But here's the catch. ART doesn't cure HIV. It suppresses the virus, but you need strict lifelong adherence. Missing doses risk the virus bouncing back. Side effects, stigma, cost, and a daily reminder of being tied to pills it all takes a toll. That's why the idea of a therapeutic vaccine is so exciting. Not to prevent infection, but to help people already living with HIV. The goal? Train the immune system to control HIV on its own. This is what researchers call a functional cure. So, how does ICVAX work? Well, it's a DNA vaccine. Instead of injecting weakened or inactivated virus, it delivers engineered DNA into your cells. These DNA fragments tell your body to make tiny, harmless pieces of HIV like wanted posters for your immune system. Your T cells, the immune system soldiers, learn to recognize these fragments and prepare to attack real HIV infected cells. But here's what makes ICVX special. It also targets T cell exhaustion. Normally, during chronic infections, HIV can make your T cells burn out by activating a molecular break called PD-1. ICVAX includes a modification to essentially disable this break, keeping T cells energized and fighting. So, not only does it show your immune system the enemy, it also keeps your fighters sharp and ready for the long battle. The phase one trial was small but powerful. 45 participants living with HIV, all stable on ART with undetectable viral loads, joined the study. They received different doses of the vaccine at multiple time points. The goals? First, test safety. Second, see if it actually wakes up those HIV-specific T-cells. The results? Safe and well-tolerated. No serious side effects, just mild ones like sore arms or slight fatigue. Immune boost confirmed. Participants, given the optimal dose, showed over a two-fold increase in HIV-specific T-cell activity compared to the placebo group. Even more exciting, the immune response looked very similar to what's seen in elite controllers, the rare individuals who naturally keep HIV undetectable without medication. That's a big deal because it shows the vaccine might be teaching the immune system to behave like theirs. So, what's next? Phase two, this is where things get serious. Researchers will test whether people can safely stop ART while the vaccine maintains viral suppression on its own. They'll also expand to more diverse populations around the world and use a needle-free delivery system called the Tropis device, which uses a high-pressure fluid jet instead of a needle. This makes the vaccine easier to administer in global settings where resources are limited. The real question for phase two is, will the vaccine's effects be durable? Can it keep HIV suppressed long-term, just like ART does, but without daily medication? If ICVAC succeeds, it could change everything. Imagine going from a lifetime of daily pills to maybe just a few booster shots a year. That's freedom from side effects, freedom from stigma, freedom from constant reminders, and the implications go beyond HIV. If scientists can engineer immune responses to control HIV, one of the most stubborn viruses known, this approach could also inspire treatments for other chronic infections like hepatitis B or herpes. So, to sum it up, Ixvax Phase 1 showed safety and promising immune responses. 
Phase two will test if the vaccine can maintain control without ART. The dream is a functional cure, drug-free, stigma-free, life-changing. We'll be following this closely in 2025 as phase two results roll out. And remember, HIV RNA testing remains critical for monitoring progress whether you're in a trial or living with HIV today. If you found this breakdown helpful, give this video a like, subscribe for more updates, and share this with someone who should know about the future of HIV treatment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.